markets ended up this past week. Just looking at how everything closed out Friday, the jobs market missed by a mile, but the market said, so what? They missed the, the, the report that came out from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics was expecting, for economists were surveyed and they expected 725,000 725, jobs to have been created in the last month. There were only 250,000 missing by half a million. That is a colossal miss. And it came at a time when people thought, oh, okay, well, we're in recovery, right? What? No. So you would think that that should be dropping down and closing lower. People pulling their money out of the markets, especially as the markets are up at all-time highs in the, in the U.S. stock indexes. But they started buying. Buyers got in charge and they kept buying. So the big question is, what are they buying? What is it that everybody thought, well, bad news, who cares? We're going after it. Well, I think that part of it had to do with the fact that people said, well, okay, bad news is good news because that means the Fed won't raise interest rates and uh, that sort of thing. So you could just imagine then that that's uh, going to be what people got into. In fact, here's what they started buying. We see that gold was up. And so gold stocks, some of the gold stocks were up a, a bit. Uranium, not only yesterday, actually, uranium has been on a tear. That's CCJ, Cameco Corporation. And they have just been on a tear, except where they are right now. That, to me, that kind of looks like a top. It's the, you, you probably can't see it from, from the video here, but it's you know it goes up and then it comes back down and stops right there. I expect a bit of a pullback. We're going to watch that pullback, though, because this could be a real opportunity. Uh, uh, not just CCJ, but you know a lot of the uranium stocks are looking like that. And NVIDIA, specialty chips are... Uh, Looking, I mean, that's a nice bullish engulfing candle getting ready to break out. So that's what they were buying in general. But I think this bears a closer look. See, a lot of people felt like, oh, it's gold. It's inflation. That's just uh, people are worried about inflation because the Fed's going to print more money. And that means more money in the system. And that means more money going into stocks. But, you know, we really didn't see, I mean, gold's, gold hasn't been acting like the traditional inflation. Uh, in, inflation has um, been commodities and basic materials. That's where people start pounding their money into when they're worried about inflation. Didn't happen on Friday. I think it's just specifically the idea lower interest rates are going to be around for a while. Here is why I say that. If we look at this chart here, this is the five-minute chart just one day of all of the different major sectors in the US. I know it's kind of messy, but here, let me just point to what matters at it. This top one right here, see that line continues all the way up and gets right up to there. That is XLRE, that's the commercial real estate sector fund, okay? Commercial real estate pulls away from everything else. You've got uh, XLV, Y, and K, this is healthcare, consumer discretionary, technology. These things were doing all right, but they're kind of in a clump and commercial real estate left it all behind. So I think that when the markets come back on uh, Tuesday, Monday is a holiday in the US. So Tuesday, what are they going to do? I think it's the low rates continue play. Who benefits from low rates? Well, commercial real estate is going to benefit from that. And um, technology is going to benefit. So in the tech sector, you're looking at uh, advanced micro devices and Apple. The, the tech sector constantly has to borrow money and the lower they can uh, get that rate be, be, because they you know, build things. They, they, they manufacture chips and phones or whatever, right? And computers. And so, so they have to you know, borrow money to, to kind of get ahead of that. And they could use their cash, but when interest rates are so low, they actually make more money if they borrow it and borrow it at low rates. Well, low rates gonna continue, Tech sector is going to win. AMD, Apple, those are the two that I think are most interesting plays right now. In the commercial real estate space, you look at the top 10, you got American Tower. That's the cell phone tower company. They look really good, really strong, but like Camco, they've had a big run. I think they're going to be pulling back. Probably the one to watch is CBRE Group. They you know, own a lot of uh, high rises and, and big commercial buildings. The small caps might also have some play. That's uh, any of the stocks that are part of the Russell 2000. IWM is the ETF that tracks them. In all of these, what you're going to watch for is breakout, stuff that went up and made a new high, 
It's kind of coming back down and it's getting right about to that same level and getting ready to break again. That is going to be the entry signal to watch for in the coming week. Hope you have a good time trading it. Take care.